Hello everyone. My name is Lana Zaiter, or Zaiter, whichever is easier for you to pronounce. I'm originally Lebanese, born and raised in Beirut, and recently migrated to Montreal, Canada. I have just started my PhD in Educational Studies, and I'm currently working as a research assistant for my supervisor, Professor Angelica Galante. I'm also a member of the Plurilingual Lab. Even though I'm still at a very early stage of my PhD journey, I would like to share with you the building blocks of my research. Given the crucial impact of language on identity, and as a recent immigrant myself, I'm very interested in exploring the role of plurilingualism in preserving and reshaping immigrants' identity. For those of you who may not be very familiar with the notion of plurilingualism, very generally speaking, it's an approach to language education that encourages and allows learners to use the different languages in their linguistic repertoire and does not assess their communicative competence based on their knowledge of one named language, mainly English and French. To enhance their integration in the Canadian community, immigrants are encouraged to learn the country's official languages. However, this is often hindered by linguistic and cultural barriers due to teaching methods that prioritize utilizing English or French over learners' first languages. Through my research, I'm hoping to identify ways of improving the integration of recent immigrants to Canada through the use of plurilingual pedagogy in language teaching, and also to understand the effects of plurilingual pedagogy on immigrants' identity. My research topic is inspired from my own quest for identity. Born and raised in Lebanon, a country whose educational system heavily relies on a second language, I was exposed to two foreign languages at school and expected to be equally proficient in both at the expense of my mother tongue Arabic, which I've only used its informal dialect to communicate with family and friends. I grew up as a plurilingual speaker. I'm fluent in English, Arabic and French. Instead of being considered an asset, my diverse linguistic repertoire was often used as a pretext for marginalization. I was often confronted with people's surprise of choice of career as an English instructor. Despite my qualifications, I was always labeled as French educated, despite having learned English as a second language in school from a very young age. And that is when my quest for my own sociolinguistic identity has started. I moved to Canada afterwards, and upon applying to the PhD program at McGill, I realized this was my chance to carry out a research that could finally have the answers to my questions. If you would like to know more about my research, or if you have any suggestion, please feel free to contact me via email.